Speaking of the build-up. Speaking of a bowl, I'm gonna get something to drink. Speaking of Ebola, <laughs> the most balanced CV in the game right here. I can't wait for Super Nakimo, because current Nakimo is so weak. Boy, начинается. Boy, начинается. Surely we will see how effective AA is. Surely we will see how effective AA is. I hate when my viewers donate um, carrier replays because my viewers are actually generally pretty good players. So I know whenever they donate the carrier game, it's going to be absolutely ridiculous because this class in the hands of anyone who possesses hands is so stupidly busted, it's not even funny. So I know this is going to be, well, this is going to be a display of game balance. That's what it's going to be. Leaving the fighter to spot the enemy team. Spotting, 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 spotting. Spotted the entire teams. Always good. Esther Yetlin. I heard Esther Yetlin has really strong AA, by the way. As you can see, really strong AA. Oh, is it gonna turn away? No! Didn't turn away in time, lost a third of his health, unfortunate. But he's an AA destroyer though, in his spawn, so it's fine, it's fine. Strong AA, by the way. Strong AA, by the way. He deserved that. The best part was he was spotted the entire time, so if he starts turning out, he gives broadside to the entire team that's aiming at him right now. So his his choices were to angle against the rocket planes or angle against the entire team. It's it's always the fun choice to make. Shimanto surrounded by teammates. Okay, zero planes lost. Strike goes through. Always cool. <laughs> yeah, I hate watching you guys post carrier replays for me to watch. I hate it. I hate it. I hate seeing. And then you have people. On YouTube and on Facebook defending this class because they're so bad at it. Ah, this this tilts me more than anything because there's so many potatoes who think this class is fine because they don't understand it. Oh no 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 no. His AA isn't doing anything. It's literally not even... Oh no. He needs to accelerate. He's trying to accelerate but it's too late. The bombs are too fast. No! Ah. Uh, 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 I'm suffering. I'm suffering. I am suffering. Clearly removing uh, spotting for the entire team from the carrier would make the class too weak. Clearly. We can't, we can't absolutely have that. It would make it too weak. The man hasn't even bothered with his torpedo planes yet. He's saving that for later, huh? He hasn't moved yet, by the way. Just so you know, the guy hasn't moved his ship yet. Zero movement has been detected by the carrier so far. CVs reduce camping, by the way. They do. They do. They CVs reduce a lot of camping. It's true. I read it on Facebook and on the official World of Warships forums that carriers reduce camping, so... It has to be true. It has to be true. They wouldn't be wrong about game balance, surely. After all, they managed to secure a 45% win rate in all other surface ships, so surely they know what they're talking about. Oh no, he's trying to hide, you can't hide from this thing. No. No, no, run Natago! I don't think he can accelerate in time. No! <laughs> 16k rocket! Three fires and five things broken on his ship! Five things disabled! Oh my lord! Thank you, Zola, for the 37. 
His entire ship is broken, man. He's trying to push in with a carrier in the game. Imagine trying to push in with a carrier in the game. Seriously. I think that Targa realized it's never gonna work, but it's too late. Because the plane spotting is killing him. I don't think you guys know this, but this carrier has 60k spotting in 4 minutes 20 seconds. He's not even been trying to spot besides that one fighter plane he left. He's just been striking, but he's also got 60k spotting damage because carriers are really fun. Oh, Thunder Shimanta Veneto. All next to each other. Just group up. Oh, what happened to the bomb? Oh, there it is. Very oh wait, they hit the they hit them behind the thunder. I think that was the first whiff. I'm still waiting to see when he's gonna move his ship. Still waiting to see when he's gonna move his ship. So far, he hasn't still hasn't used torps and still hasn't moved his ship. I think this is a troll. Like I think he's he that's he probably made this just to send to me or something. I, that's what it feels like. Because he's intentionally not moving, and he's intentionally not using the torps. Oh no, thunder, no. Oh no. Trying to imagine trying to evade in a in a battleship. <laughs> Wait, these six K rockets, man. <laughs> oh Jesus. 80k spotting as well, but uh, oh my god. Every squad he has is full. Every squad he sends out is full, and he's s launching them into like Thunder, which is some of the best AA, and like a light cruiser and Veneta all grouped up together, and he just doesn't care. I don't know. Like that. What is the AA supposed to do? He just goes immune to it. Did that not go high, or is it turning out? I can't tell. Oh, no, never mind. Also fire. Oh, my lord. He still hasn't moved and he's still refusing to use the torpedo planes, man. He's still refusing to use the torpedo planes. This is such a troll replay, clearly. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Imagine looking at this and going, yeah, I think this is a balanced state of game right here. And then the funniest thing is people say you need to position better to counter it. The guy hasn't moved his ship yet. He's refusing to move his ship. Oh no, Veneto, no. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Oh, only two, only three hits, but double fire, because the fire chance on them is so hilarious. Oh my lord. Is he gonna move? Nah. He's not gonna move. <laughs> See, he still hasn't moved, man. He still hasn't moved. He's just refusing to move his ship. It's funny that people say that you need to position better to counter the class, and then- Wait, he's moving! Uh oh he's actually moving his ship. He did it. Eight minutes in the game, we see detect movement. 110k spotting damage, by the way. Cool. Musashi. 10k and a fire. What does the Musashi do? Die? I mean, I hope he doesn't try to push. But seriously, pushing into the- Oh! Torpedo Bombers! He's finally using them, chat. Torpedo planes have been deployed. This, this will surely be fun for the Musashi to deal with. This will surely be fun for the Musashi to deal with. It's got a really strong torp belt, but... Yeah, that's not gonna help him. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Musashi is way too clumsy to avoid that shit. Yikes, that was 20k. 20, what, 24k in a flood. He aggroed the fighter plane, so instead he just recalled his squad. Didn't lose a single plane. And now he sends out rocket system. Oh, they're shooting him. Uh-oh. The plane spotting was actually shooting him. Straight through the fighter. Oh, my lord. He's just pushing nose in into them, though. Because he knows that as long as he's angled, 
Okay, Musashi put a full volley onto him. How much damage does he take? He's got 35k health. <laughs> 460 millimeter overmatch and chills. Zero. <laughs> Surely this class is in a good state. Surely. Chills that overmatch Montanas and other Yamatos and shit, literally fucking zero damage. Oh my god, it's so dumb. Is he gonna shoot again? No, oh, it's dropping. Luckily, the Nakimo is playing the one class that actually has good AA, so he can shoot down the plans. Oh my lord, this... it hurts to watch, man. The guy here could do damage here. No one else could do it. Seems good. Oh no, Thunder, run. How do you run from a plane that's doing 175 knots, though, chat? How do you run from that? How do you flee from this bullshit? Just position better, by the way. Against a ship that does, like, six times your speed. Oh, combat spotting. <laughs> Without even trying to spot. <laughs> oh, man. Where is it going? For the Hakuri? Oh, yeah, for the Hakuri. No? Yes. I guess he got pissed off at the focus. That's gonna hurt. Only 11k. Surprising. Surprisingly, only 11k. I think it didn't lead uh, led too much. I think it's switching to the German ships now. They are too juicy. Because you know what German ships are designed to do? They're designed to push in. And you know what carriers are designed to do? Ruin the game of anyone who tries to push in. Seems good. He goes for the Schlieff and first. Oh my god, double fire instead, of course. 172k, 71k spotting. Mini making carriers minimap spotting only would truly ruin the class, because it's so weak, right? Wargaming can't even entertain the idea. No way he's going for torpedo planes on an beam. Is he? That's really toxic. Nah, I don't think he is. Just let the fight fighter there. Wow, that's a lot of AA. Is he losing a lot of planes? He sure is losing a lot of planes. Wait, did he drop straight behind him? Mm. Mm. That zoned the Schlieffen out so much, because I don't think he can change... No, he can't change course, because they're, they're chasing him. Oh no, Hindenburg tries to push in. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hinden is so clumsy as well. Only one. Fire. He had to turn in, though, and Izuma smashed him. He had to turn into the, the planes, though, and because of that, Izuma smashed him. Creating crossfires at will sure is weak, man. He's trying to turn out now. Or trying to angle against the Zuma, but here comes the crossfire at will. That man is guaranteed dead. Yep. Zuma is creating a crossfire out of thin air is somewhat unfair gameplay. Crazy idea. Crazy concept. Just position better against planes that are six times your speed and can crossfire where, whenever, wherever you are. 
He was the one spotting the hen as well, yep. The showman was smoked up and farming. So he was spotting and crossfiring him at the same time. Oh no. Oh boy. How do you even dodge those? Like, you tr try to slow down, turn in, and if he aims correctly, you just get smashed? Oh fuck me. He dodged most of them by slowing down, but he's still like. Is he damage gone? Yeah, but the spotting is killing him. The plane spotting is killing him. <laughs> Look at his spotting number, it keeps going up. Almost at 200k already. Like, he's got 230k damage of his own, but then another 190k spotting damage from when he's doing the strikes. Like, the effective... The impact the class has on the game is so absurd. Plus all the times he forces them to turn. Oh god, double fire. Force DCP. That was with defensive AA, was it? Bro, this class is just so... Like, this, this is such a textbook example of how poorly this class fits the game. It's just such a textbook example, like, he's denying all flanking maneuvers, he's, he's spotting everything they're trying to do, and every time someone goes nose in, it's non-stop damage and fires and crossfires and spotting and just like, they just die. Like, <laughs> they just die. It really is just dented, isn't it? Oh my lord, it hurts to watch. It hurts to watch, man. This just hurts. It's just so stupid, isn't it? The only class doing consistent damage to him is the carrier. It's the only one actually doing damage to him. Just the way Wargaming wants them. That's not going to be very good. I think it just quick drop to get angle. Wait, he's still got a phone. Oh, was that a sitter? Looked like a lot of damage. Been trying to reason straight all morning, but the fucking thing won't let me. Full squadrons, yeah, I know it's full squadrons. He's been he's been dropping since the very start into the wherever he wants. If only the fun police weren't here. Exactly, but like he's been dropping into the middle of the enemy team all game. Like he's just been dropping whatever he wants all game. Hasn't paid any attention to what AA ships there are. Or Anything, just dropping, 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 whatever he wants. And once again, the squadrons are all full. The squadrons are all full. He intentionally despawned the fighter with the skip bomber. Or not? I think he tried, but it didn't hook on. I think he mistimed it. Yeah, he missed time, that he messed it up. Thank you, Ender, for 15 minutes. Like, all the flag goes above him! It's like, well, what is the point supposed to be? He dies, but he got the squadron off. 
This is also another thing that I really, really hate about this class. The carrier is dead, but the planes are still around. <laughs> I will never, ever touch this broken bullshit. Like, they, they, he ruined, they both ruined the game for the remaining 22 players. That's the worst part, isn't it? And it's still a full squadron! I think it's gonna get a perfect drop off at the end. Yeah, point blank, he's reversing. No way he accelerates in time. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Will it even kill him? Almost. The flood might actually kill him. Does it get the count? He's flooding. He got the kill. How much spotting was that at the end? How much spotting damage was that at the end, champ? It was over 300k damage, but how much spotting? I think it was well over 200k as well. The 203k spotting as well. And the fact that you can get over 200,000 spotting without going out of your way to spot. Just flying around farming damage, and at the same time you spot... So the total influence was like over 500,000 damage. And full squadrons the entire game. And he barely even moved all game either. It's like... On what planet do you live? In what reality do you exist? Where you convince yourself that that's what balanced gameplay looks like. You have to be so dented. Like you have to be so brutally bad at the game it hurts. It's crazy.